Let's trade it with Joe Teague, portfolio manager of the Rational Equity Armor Fund. Uh, test, uh, NASDAQ just went from about 14,800 to 14,700 in about five minutes there, Joe. So we had a pretty ugly fade this morning. Tesla not doing terrible, but how do we try and approach a trade in a stock that is generally linked to the direction of tech and the indexes? Yeah, absolutely. It looks like volatility is back in a big way. Yeah, you take the elevator up, uh, the escalator up, the, the elevator down. Yeah, we right kind of took the elevator up, too. <laughs> yeah, it goes both well, ways. Tesla this year for sure has uh, a lot of the tech this year has uh, no question about that. Uh, so there's, you know, with, given these valuations, given where, uh, you know, Tesla's being valued at is like the largest uh, car maker in the world where it does nowhere near that in terms of sales. Yeah, it makes sense uh, to be, uh, you know, take some risk off or just be very cautious at these levels. Uh, people go to a risk off approach. Tesla will be hit. So uh, it's very, a very uh, concerning time right now for Tesla. Now, given all that, you know, Monday we saw Tesla down on the lows and really good price action for me. A lot of buyers coming in uh, off of 240. People are looking at that level saying, hey, I, I'm, uh, I'm happy to buy here. So I, I thought Monday's price action was good. But that said, we're kind of in the middle of the range for Tesla, uh, maybe no man's land. Uh, and for me, yeah, uh, seasonally, uh, the end of September, very weak for the market broadly. That's what we're getting right now in the market. Uh, the start of October, also weak. But then it turns around and you see a rally, especially you see a rally when there's a weak September and a weak August, which is what we've just had in a positive year. So I think there's reason for optimism once we get the middle of August for the market. Uh, you know, we'll be past a few things. We'll be past, uh, hopefully we'll be past uh, the debt ceiling, past the jobs number. If there is a jobs number, oh, it's not the debt ceiling, the, the government shutdown. If there isn't a government shutdown, uh, there'll be a jobs number uh, past CPI. I think that's when the market will kind of uh, turn around. It'll be back to interest rates, all about interest rates. Actually, good news this morning on in interest rates, they were a little bit softer. I'm not sure where they are right now, maybe turning higher as the market's lower. But uh, yeah, for me, just wait and see. I want to I wanna have some protection on, own some gamma, but sell some volatility at these higher levels mm, okay so uh own gamma cell vol if i heard you there how do you go about doing that can you do it in a stock like a tesla or can you only do that on the index level yeah, well, just in the stock, I'm going to do a calendar spread. I'm going to buy next Friday's uh, 240 put, sell the December 240 put. Uh, effectively, you know, it's uh, you know, there's no there's no risk. I mean, obviously, after next Friday, there would be risk, but uh, effectively, I'm protected below 240. Uh, but I am selling that put. I'm collecting premium uh, by doing this trade. That's the volatility I'm I'm protecting now. If we have a sharp move lower, well, I'm going to collect that 12 dollars because that 240 put will start to uh, turn into a call, it'll evaporate into uh, zero the lower we get uh, that the, the another trade. And if we go higher, yeah, that'd be good for me too. Uh, some collecting money to sell this 240 put. Okay. So you're looking for some action here. That's what this trade yeah, is, basically, right? the next week, right? I'm looking for some action. And I'm also just looking for it to be higher than 240 in December, which is, I think, is, I think that's a reasonable expectation for me. Now, I also am collecting 1250 uh, for this trade. So uh, break even is really 227 and a half. So that's, uh, that, that, for me, is also, um, <clears throat> also some area of comfort for me. I think it would be higher than that. I, I like my chances. I, you know, if we get a nice big move, uh, the next week, that'll be that'll be optimal. I can take it off in one week and uh, and maximize my gain just for one week. Okay, uh, give me the uh, contracts again because I think we got a typo up here. You're not buying and selling the same put on the same strike. No, I am uh, buying the October six two forty put next Friday's put. Yep, and then sell. Oh, got the D's fifteen. You're selling there. The D's two forty puts. So yeah, it's the same strike. Yeah, uh, different calendars. Sorry, it's the same strike, different month, expiration, yeah. Yep, okay, got it. All right, that makes sense then. All right, yeah, so, so I'm, getting, I'm getting the gamma on the next week's one. Uh, that'll have that'll that'll move a lot more sensitive to the price. Mm. Uh, I'm selling the ball because there's more ball in the back month one. It's kind of a fun trade. You're giving yourself a little bit of a roller coaster to ride, right? Near-term <laughs> softness and then a bounce back, basically, would be the ideal trajectory. Which is exactly what I'm expecting, uh, given the seasonality of it all. And uh, I do, I do like the market's chances to rally mid-August, mid-October. Excuse me. I do like the chances uh, to for the market to, you know, either find some good economic news to rally on, or flip side, uh, softening in uh, even some interest rates. 
that might be a nice rally. Now, that said, though, keep in mind the softening in interest rates on weaker economic moves. Eventually, that'll catch up to the market. I still think there's some room to run, though, uh, in this uh, economy. It really comes down to the consumer. As long as the consumer is out there, a little bit left to spend, I think that I think the economy will be just fine uh, for the short term. And as long as as long as uh, the unemployment rate is as low as it is, uh, I, I'm pretty confident in that assessment. All right. So uh, buying the October 6, 240 strike, selling the D15 at the same strike, both puts. All right, like it. Makes sense. A little dip and a little bounce. Thanks, Joe Tigay, Portfolio Manager, the Rational Equity Armor Fund with the Tesla Trade.